Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today we're going to dig a little bit deeper into battery testing. I've got a Kdex C5100B battery tester today, which is capable of, I believe, their proprietary QS4 testing method. Uh, stands for Quick Sort 4. Oh, Justin, quit telling me that there's a way to do something and then showing me another way to do it. I hate it. Every single time, it's like you just keep digging deeper and deeper and deeper. But you know what? That's the point of the art of repair. We're supposed to take this from that base fundamental level. We were supposed to dig down. We were supposed to find out how things work at the subatomic level. We need to figure this stuff out so that we become competent techs. Okay, so with that being said, I know you're thinking, Justin, you told me about the multimeter. You told me about the activation plate. What exactly does this KDEX tester do that these aren't going to do for me? Well, the KDEX tester, as far as I understand it, uses a proprietary testing method. It's called QS4, which stands for Quick Sort 4. Okay, what that does is it checks the electrochemical dynamic response of the battery. Now, you're probably thinking the same thing I thought. What kind of load of crap is that? What what kind of long form junk are you trying to throw at me right now? Electrochemical dynamic response? Well, let me just go ahead and make it easier for you. That means voltage drop, okay? This is a voltage drop test. <laughs> but didn't you just show me how to do a voltage drop test over here with the with the battery, the activation plate and the multimeter? Justin, are you just telling me to spend money for no reason? No. Absolutely not. I'm definitely not telling you to do that. So what is special about this testing versus the other testing? This has a computer in it, and this can run through a program. These, it's just your gut check information. You're just reading a measurement and hoping for the best. And yes, if you see a mega voltage drop pretty quick, then yeah, you're going to see the battery's probably bad. But what about batteries that come in where the customer's like, hey, you know, I'm having issues with the battery, and then you take your multimeter out and you test it, and you're like, you know, it doesn't show anything wrong here, but the customer is so insistent. They're just like, man, my battery sucks. You've just got to replace it. Well, that's where QS4 comes in. So the deal here is that electrochemical dynamic response is the lag time to a voltage drop. It's not actual voltage drop. So you see there's a difference now, okay? So we before we were just looking at it and visually watching the meter go down. Now we are going to check the lag. Now the lag, the lag, what? It's the amount of time it takes the battery to respond, okay? Let me go ahead and show you this thing. All right. All right, so this is the KDEX machine. It's got its little dongle here. You know, it comes out to a USB type C. It also comes with an adapter so that you can use it with like pretty much any other battery, the, just the regular square batteries that have the little, you know, soft contacts right there. Um, you can use it for a little fun hacking too. I was messing with it earlier. Um, but the main thing we're gonna be using here is this USB type C out, um, which I guess future proofs the device in some way, but I don't know. So we're going to take it and we've got this little doohickey here. It looks very similar to an activation plate. In fact, I've got some other ones here and these are not KDEX activation plates or KDEX um, dongles, but they will work just fine um, as I did test it, even though they told me on the phone that not to. We're going to go ahead and use the one that they gave us just to make sure this thing works properly. All you need to do is hook it to the little dongle and you'll hear a sound. Okay, and we're gonna change cameras real quick so we can see the screen here. So, we plug the battery in and it wants us to select a voltage. I see 3.7 on here, but this says 3.8 on it, so we're gonna move it up. All right, we're gonna hit test. And then it's gonna ask us the capacity. Very simple questions, right? So the capacity on this one, if we take a look at it here, we are looking at 1560 milliamps so we're gonna go ahead and move this up um, as per the recommendation it's always best to round down um, now that we have capacity and now that we have voltage we're gonna hit test now what's gonna happen after I hit test I did talk about it earlier I said that it was a lag test based on voltage drop 
that's cool, but you know, people tell us things all the time. I want to know. I want to see it with my eyes. Okay, so I take my little Power Z power consumption meter and I hook it up, and it works all right for a second, and it kind of fritzes out. Unfortunately, I think the way that they've got this thing set up, it's it's not really going to work well with it. But I did see the initial you know effects of the machine on the battery. It looks like all it's doing is it's pulling about three quarters of an amp out of it, and at that point, I assume measuring how long it took. So, you know, I guess it's doing what it said it's doing, but you know, I I don't know. I just I just like to see things happen. You know, we're gonna go ahead and hit test now. You hear that sound? Now it's testing. It's got four minutes on that test. So we're gonna go ahead and freeze frame for a minute here. We're gonna come back after this is done. All right, so now that the test is over, normally what you're gonna see is you're gonna see an answer on the screen. It's gonna say, hey, this battery's good, it's intermediate, it's bad, something like that. But if you did purchase the, the printer unit and you set it up that way, you will see that it will print out a little slip that you can give your customer. The test was the quick sort for test. The result is a good battery. It'll give you the testing date, all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, with that being said, um, this is a great addition to pretty much any store. Um, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of battery testing. Well, I do like this test where it actually checks the electrochemical dynamic response of the battery itself. Um, I do believe that to get a true accurate statement on a battery, you need that full discharge recharge analysis. But outside of that, it is a really nice test. It gives you a really quick answer and you know, you, you could save a lot of money with this thing. You know, there's a lot of times where you do batteries for people and they come back and they say, hey, this didn't help at all. Well, why? You didn't test anything. But with all the things I've shown you so far, you should be able to give them at least a good educated guess on, hey, maybe this battery is good or not. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell if you want it to pop up on, you know, whatever you're using, whenever I put something out. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget guys, if you're interested in any of the tools I use, check out the description below. I even have my own custom tools that I sell down there as well that literally do not exist anywhere else on the planet except from the art of repair. I also have a Patreon where you can help support the channel so I can create even better high quality content.